<laughs> Comics. Marvel's Ultimate Universe was launched back in the year 2000 as sort of a soft, tangential reboot to its comic book continuity. It used established Marvel characters but gave them tweaked and updated origins and personality traits. Thor was a hipster environmentalist, Colossus was gay, Iron Man had a dumber helmet, Uncle Ben had a ponytail, and so on and so forth. Filtered through hindsight and cynicism, the Ultimate Universe seemed like a transparent attempt for Marvel to excuse continuity and draw a new generation of fans, having already drained the time, money, and will to procreate from the last generation. While its birth is rooted in capitalism, the Ultimate Universe turned out to be one of the most interesting creative experiments in the history of comics. The Ultimate line had moments of great success, but with the exception of Ultimate Spider-Man, it was kind of ignored by the industry. This let Marvel use the line as sort of a farm system for young creative talent. They essentially planted young writers on a super flat and said, show us what you got, rookie. What resulted was a Marvel universe that had the warm cuddle of nostalgia and the shocking, heartbreaking excitement of breaking up with their fiance while skydiving into a volcano. It was a different Marvel. Characters were adult, brutal, sometimes flawed to the point of being unlikable. Collateral damage of big city spanning brawls killed civilians and had real social and political fallout. If a hero or villain died, they stayed dead. Kind of, sometimes. It was all very jarring and very awesome. Again, uh, sometimes. It was kind of a mixed bag. The farm system worked to produce guys like Brian Michael Bendis, Mark Miller, and Jonathan Hickman, who would go on to do big-time Hollywood things in the main Marvel U. And I consider Miller and Hickman's runs on the Ultimates to be the two best, quote, Avenger stories ever told. Yeah, I said it. Come at me, baby. But when more established writers wanted to complain in a world where editorial rules were looser, the result was super not okay, like, at all. Jeff Loeb's Ultimatum is considered by most in the industry to be one of the most <laughs> event books in history, and many Ultimate fans found his manner-of-fact tone and dismissal of certain characters to be disrespectful. And since the event, the Ultimate U has been sort of a twitching blob of inconsistently published titles of dismissible quality. Very long story, incredibly short, the Ultimate U did things that 616 Marvel U was never able to do because of big, important, MBA, smart person, business money reasons. It was always brave, even when it wasn't good, but it looks like its ballsiest move is yet to come. The summer 2015 event entitled The End it looks to be the conclusion of the Ultimate Universe. Comic books, and by comic books, I mean these guys tend to spin on forever, never really ending, sort of like Jesus' is Love or Doctor Who. Never before has a big time superhero universe been given a narrative complete with a beginning, middle, and end. The act of ending seems simple and maybe even a little sad, but really it's the moon landing and a flipping of the bird at the same time. They're showing they are the most valiant by being the first to say goodbye. So peace out, Ultimate You. You guys sure knew how to party. That's two minutes of comics. Take time. Peace out!